ये तो नहीं गुड दिस इज हाउ आई विल रिकॉर्ड टुडे हां हाय गाइस दिस इज बेनी एंड दिस इज दिल and today we are going to review the trailer of the nigerian movie up north uh this is a 2018 movie it's already on netflix and i if i read the imdb of this movie it says up north explores love friendship and family politics all of which collide when the rebellious young scion of a wealthy family is sent away to national service in north northern nigeria through many mishaps and the creation of many memories the spoiled hero finally starts to find himself it stars uh, adzi adamu rekia atah and uh, nafisa butu um, apart from other cast members uh, it is directed by tope oshin and the writers are bunmi aja kaye and uh, chinaza onuzo I'm sorry I'm just trying. <laughs> yeah, you do that. <laughs> What's up daddy yo? You will not be welcome in this house until you have completed your NYC in Bauchi. This is not the kind of trip we want to remember. I'm kind of documenting my experiences. What are you doing? I want my friends to meet you. You shouldn't have come. And I can't wait for the same breeze that blew you here to blow you back to where you belong to. I don't understand what you're saying, but you need to get your finger out my face. You cannot survive in Bauchi without me, Bob. It's all just a part of his plan. If I don't go back with him, it's all gone. What is wrong with you? It's my life, and I'll live it as I see fit. You don't control how I feel. You're reposting papers. And if I refuse, the question is. Will you? My feet twisted up in knots, rolling and rolling around in bed, talking to me. Ah, okay, Zainab's here. You should go over. Okay, but wait, that's not how we do things here, but why not? And then I'm falling asleep, whispering your name. Waking up to your words and my mind telling you how to play, but I don't ever care in the world 'cause you're my friend. So, ooh, 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 you're my only one. But know that you are here to stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The way you hold me in your arms, I know that you are here to stay. You know girls like that go they're too fine for guys like us. <laughs> Super cute. <clears throat> hmm. Again uh, like a coming of age story told with such levity. It's crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> Super cute. Yeah. I mean uh you grow up to certain age you feel okay now i'm 18 or maybe i'm 21 and i'm an adult and an adult but uh, sometimes you're not really mature enough i mean you just because chronologically you're an adult doesn't mean mentally you are an adult and uh, you feel you have rights and privileges and you want to do things your own way and whether you are mature or not your parents may not feel like that You know, and maybe you are messing things up, or maybe they know that you know we have not given him enough of experience out in the world. Uh, so he 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 seems to be uh, a guy who's uh, like a royalty, you know, and pampered upbringing, and then he's sent off to the army. Maybe that's what royalty does, you know, send send off the kids to army, uh, and he well he learns things over there. and then he maybe feels it oh okay i'm independent i can do this you know so maybe i can do a lot more on my own without taking anybody's advice and the parents are like please come down to earth <laughs> could be like that they i mean they know uh 
that he's not had those life experiences where he can start taking some serious decisions yeah uh, but again if you don't let the kid take decisions i mean the the grown up kid take decisions he never will be able to do that yeah this is <clears throat> this is an interesting theme because i've seen this similarity between you don't see these kind of things in hollywood like maybe some movies but this is a huge similarity between indian culture and nigerian culture and it's probably because this being um you know pampered is a product of our family structures where we live cohesively many times in india like we had uh, even still it exists like joint family and people live with their parents why would they not right like that's an obvious thing people um at least in the past did and many people even do right now so that's this problem is a product of that you know where you are overprotected you always had someone who has your back who who if you face a problem you are never alone you know your your dad till you are like in your 20s or even 30s or even later uh, stands by you you know all this is a product of our cultures and we have had also some awesome movies on that i forget the name of that movie but um, it, it had govinda and karishma kapoor and he spoiled and he runs away from kadar khan hero number 1 hero number 1 <laughs> and the other movie since this is based on uh, him being sent to the army uh, it also reminds me of lakshya where uh, you know rithik roshan's character which is a more serious movie but uh, his character was very childish and he had a girlfriend who was like so driven so focused and uh, she just couldn't take it anymore that he was a nice guy but he was not driven he and at the end like no woman likes that uh, you know um, especially if you are a driven focused woman who knows what you want in your life you don't want a guy who's uh, kind of wandering around just not it's okay to not have figured things out but it you have to have a drive you have to have a passion you have to have an idea or you have to have the willingness to try different things than to just um, you know just be in the situation that you are whether it's uh, whether it's poverty or whether it's uh, uh, you know a wealthy situation like this guy was in and uh, sometimes parents have to take those decisions where they have to uh, teach it the hard way because that's the best way to learn and at that time like govinda did in that movie and it seems like this main character does in this movie it's like ah oh, my parents hate me why are they like this why can't they understand but they are just trying to teach you a lesson which you wouldn't learn otherwise the other thing also that stood out to me was how beautiful nigeria was the landscapes that they showed which we have not seen in other movies you know we have yeah. seen a little bit of city life and and village life and dynamics between people but we haven't seen that much of the landscape and it was so beautiful it also seems like uh, he was sent somewhere uh, which was very very traditional so he was saying to his friend like you like her you walk up to her and uh, he was like that's not how we do things here no you know so that is my guess that it was a more ah. traditional structure you also saw many I also saw in this movie that I haven't seen in the other trailers is higher level like more of drone shots so they showed a beautiful mm. for example mosque and uh, you know it showed that it was wherever he was it was heavier on uh traditions and religion yeah where you mentioned uh, that you know sometimes parents have to take uh, the hard uh, step in showing you know or teaching the children that okay you need you know you need to be stern sometimes right so that reminds me of the movie vakt uh, i don't know if you've seen it but there's akshay kumar and amitabh bachchan and amitabh bachchan is you know really into being a, a friend to his son and he pampers him and he lets him do everything that he likes or the way he likes and he even gets involved with him in uh, you know like going to the disco with his own son and his son didn't feel embarrassed or you know generally teenagers 
uh, no matter how cool their parents are, they don't want their parents to be involved actually with their friends. But in that movie, they show that uh, he was such a cool dad that uh, Shukumar doesn't mind. I mean, he's with his uh, dad in the disco and they're kind of, you know, conspiring against the mother. No, no, it's, we're not doing anything wrong and this and that. And eventually uh, the dad finds out ha that he's got maybe a month's time or three months time to live. He's got some tumor or cancer or something. And suddenly he realizes that I'm not really equipped my son with, you know, life skills to survive life without my help then he suddenly changes his strategy and becomes a kind of a villain and he says okay you got to earn you know uh, he says i want to marry this girl he gets married and there's both of them are so childish and then the way he teaches his son without like i mean he doesn't tell his uh, his son at the beginning that he's facing death you know he doesn't want his son to be heartbroken and learn life lessons like that he just teaches him living life and becoming responsible the hard way it just puts him out there in the world you gotta you gotta earn yeah you that know, and me, that also reminds me of of how cats are right mm -hmm. how cats are like when they have kittens uh they they take such good care of the kitten for a little while and then suddenly they turn hostile they, True. they beat their kitten and like like and I remember because I'm like, we have always had cats and one of the kittens was sick and we were like, poor baby. And then it went to its mother and she still did not care. She was harsh. She just, it's crazy to see that. Like if you have yeah. cats in nature, you will see that. Um, not domesticated cats, but cats, cats in the wild, they really like uh, hiss at their kitten and then even slap it if needed and yeah. get out of here. It's like just one fine day, the clock has ticked and it's your time is up, baby. Grow up. Right. Now get out and move on and find for yourself, no That's matter what. Cool. Yeah, and uh, the other things, the funny things in the movie, I love the fact that it was done with so much levity and the fun. When they were, uh, you know, in the army, uh, when they were pouring water on him and like uh, punishing him a few people along with him and someone was taking a video of him and he was like, oh crap, this is media or something. Then another time he was taking a selfie and there was this girl who was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm sharing it with my friends. Like, it was so, <laughs> he was so out of reality. Like that, that was really, really funny. You know, when I, when I, uh, when you read out from uh, the MDB, that he was sent off to the military and he has to some politics happen on all the dimensions of his life i thought it would be kind of a serious movie but this one also has been taken with a you know with a hint of laughter it's like it's funny watching this man child i mean not really man child but he was a bit immature you know just me yeah. that kind of a guy and okay okay i'm going up to the army oh i'm going to train hard that kind of thing it's it i love that I love that about I, Nigerian movies. Yeah, I love the poster as well. It's so adorable. Like him with mm. his bag and then looking up in the mountains, like a, really like a child, like excited about yes. it. And yes. uh, what also stands out, uh, it not only it feels like it goes through different aspects of life, like uh, they said friendship, love, uh, family, politics, this, that, but I also feel like he also... Of course, the movie explores all of that, but I also feel like when he goes to that other region, as I was saying, it's very traditional. It's also like exploration. Uh, when you go out and explore in the world, I just feel like your external experiences are directly proportional to your internal experiences. And you being thrown into something that is so different from you is the best learning experience. And True. so I feel like that experience of being in a completely different ecosystem than what he's used to not only like expands his mind to different cultures and different parts of Nigeria that he maybe never knew of like we we as Indians we don't I there might be very few Indians who have who, who know all the aspects of India India is its whole ecosystem and I would believe that Nigeria is if not the same, very similar, has so many yeah. diverse ecosystems in terms of traditions and uh, even topography and, you know, landscape, uh, 
cultures, people, uh, tribes and whatnot. So him being thrown into that also brought in probably a different perspective. Like we have the story of uh, uh, Gautam Buddha or Siddhartha before he became Gautam Buddha, who was like a prince in this castle who never knew anything. And once he got out for the first time in his life is the first time he saw suffering where he completely changed from who he was. He became Gautam Buddha from there. Yeah. But yeah. like most, I didn't know for the longest time that he was a prince who had no concept of suffering. And then he became the greatest, I don't know, greatest people on, on to have ever walked the earth, to have found nirvana and, you know, yeah. formed the concept of meditation. So, you know, you going out and exploring, you getting out of your comfort zone is always, always, always a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I feel, uh, I truly, truly feel that no education is complete without some exploration out into the world, you know, where you set out as an individual, independent individual, and you do some exploring. I mean, even if, if you're a city person and you never travel to another city, at least you should travel to another city. You know, that, those experiences matter most. Uh, just textbook education, just academics is never enough to equip you for life. Uh, and as long as you're, I mean, it's all about breaking your comfort zone, especially that, you know, but uh, uh, as long as you're with friends and family, uh, you're still, you know, somewhere you're protected, your friends protect you, your family does protect you. But when you're out alone, you're the only one who has to fend for yourself. You learn to be resourceful you learn to depend on your intelligence on your on your intuition uh, you learn a lot i mean there's a lot to learn from the world but there's a lot to learn within yourself about who you are when you go out traveling that's what uh, especially matters yeah and both things happen simultaneously when you travel actually you learn about the world and you also learn about yourself you start observing yeah better at least that's what happened to me i don't know about other people but there is a reason why there is the travel bug because it is a form of meditation it is a form of introspection it is a form of self-growth development the way you never had before it is a unique opportunity you know so yeah. he, he might this character might not have seen how unique of an opportunity it is but i'm sure uh -huh. he comes out understanding all the reasons, all the gifts he has uh, because of gifts he got because of this experience. So this seems like a very cute movie, very well-made movie, very beautiful shots, good actors, you know. Um, yeah, and an awesome concept. This is, I think, the second movie that we saw, that we saw the trailer of that is based on coming of age. And as I said, it's mm -hmm. about because of how our cultures are and that is very endearing in a way it's a it's a good problem to have there's a lot of yeah. problems and this is this is one of the better problems to have than than not sure all right guys if you liked our video please subscribe to our channel and if you liked it then actually go ahead and like it also hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video we usually do it on mondays also, uh, leave us a comment to let us know how you're doing or if there is anything else that we should be reviewing. We really appreciate the comments that have come in. And um, yeah, share it with friends. If you like our videos and, you know, like our reactions, then let your friends know that there is someone talking about the awesome movies that Nigerians make. Until next time, Firmilengi. Firmilengi.